The first rule is really quite simple, but we often forget you should be looking at the lens the whole time because that's where your audience is. The mistake people make is they go into selfie mode and they look at themselves, which is what I'm doing now. But of course, that means you're not engaging with your audience. So locate the lens by, by pointing and seeing your finger come up there and look at it for the whole time you're talking. Imagine talking to just one person. So the person behind that camera lens, it's not a whole room. Video is a really intimate kind of medium. And you might have an audience of thousands, but you're having a conversation with one person in that audience. So picture who that is. Decide who your ideal audience is. Give them a name, give them a face, and get that kind of natural tone, that natural way of speaking into your videos. Don't read from a script. You can plan your videos, you can know exactly what you're going to say before you press record, but you shouldn't be reading anything off a script. And even an auto cue is a surefire way to make yourself come across as a bit robotic and really come across as if you don't quite know what you're talking about. And when it's your business, you should know what you're talking about. So practice beforehand by all means, but don't read from a script when it comes to making the video. Try to ad lib it, try to come across as natural and authentic. Keep your message simple. Definitely the biggest mistake that a lot of people make is just trying to say too much on their videos. Keep it to just one or two key points, three at the absolute most, and then deliver that with authenticity, with warmth and with conviction. And that's much better than a video where you try to cram everything in, you read from a script and you come off as robotic and nobody watches it to the end anyway. Remember when you're delivering your video that you don't have to do it all in one take. You can edit this. If it's a simple video for reels, you can do jump cuts all the way through so that you've got a perfect version. Or if you're doing a more complex video where you're using cutaways and B-roll footage, then there's loads of opportunities to edit it. So that's an easy way to make yourself feel relaxed and come across more authentically when you're communicating and presenting on camera. If you're still finding it really hard to come across authentically on camera, then why not try this bonus tip? Get someone to interview you. It's a great format for business videos. If you can ask someone to, you know, just stand to the side of the camera and then pose some questions to you about your business or about the message that you want to get out, you'll find it much easier to talk to a person and look at them in the eye just off camera rather than having to talk to a machine. And it will relax you and you'll definitely come across much better.